Good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and it's Monday, September 15th. Uh, let's look at Tesla. Um, members, I've got a little bit longer strategy session than usual. I'm going through all the internets. Some of them are buys, some of them not so much. Um, um, and I'm also going through some biotech um, stocks that I think you, you just need to be aware of. So I'm going through all that stuff. But anyway, on Tesla, here's the thing. I wanted to post this as our free chart because, you know, I just kind of want to talk. I'm talking to everybody, um, not just members. Okay. Morgan Stanley, an analyst for Morgan Stanley, downgraded this stock today, essentially saying it, you know, it, it got ahead of itself. It's gone too far, too fast. Um, Elon Musk said essentially the same thing last week or something. What was interesting to me was this analyst that says it's gone too far, too fast. He's got a 320 price target on it. So he's still expecting the stock to go higher. So I'm not, you know, I, I was kind of, you, you know what I think of anal, or analysts here. Um, most of them don't really know what they're doing with respect to stocks, but they sure are hell on wheels when it comes to like looking at businesses. And that's what that's for. But the way a stock trades is different. Most of those guys working for the big firms they wouldn't be working for the big firms if they could trade stocks. So instead, they talk about them, and that's fine. It works to our advantage. Um, but here's the thing. You've got the 50-day moving average moving up here. 320 is probably right around here. So I guess the whole too far, too fast thing means that he just thought that this wouldn't be good if the stock did this. Instead, probably plenty of clients that you know, for whatever reason, we're just kind of told or suggested last week by their Morgan Stanley broker that they might want to be getting rid of, getting out of the stock a little bit. Let's go ahead and take profits. Magically, the research note comes out. The stock trades down on massive volume right at the 50-day moving average. Now, by the way, are you sitting there with your shocked face? <gasps> Dan, they wouldn't do that, dude. It's Wall Street. It only happens on weekdays or weekends. Those are the only two times that preferred clients get advance notice about things. I'm not saying it did happen, but I'm definitively saying that you can't say definitively that it didn't. The point is, just a little bit interesting to me, when somebody who's bullish on the stock with a 320 price target downgrades it saying it's gone too far too fast. I don't understand that. I would think the the earlier the stock hits your price target, the smarter you look. But that would be me. Here's my point on this. My point is, don't be either bull or bear here on Tesla. Instead, be objective. We've got a 50-day moving average here that's been support. This could be a gift. I mean, the stock went from above the upper Bollinger Band right here to very close to the lower Bollinger Band down here. And it's right at this 50-day, boy, that's a lot of blanks there. Um, it's right at this 50-day moving average right here. We'll call it, well, it's 249.13, so we'll call support down at 250. If this stock starts trading higher tomorrow, this could turn out to be a really good buying opportunity. Remember, the guy that knocked the stock down at about 12% at one point during the day, but the guy that knocked the stock down 10% is also bullish on this too. And so it's kind of like if you liked it here, you got to love it down here. My bet is, my anticipation is that you'll see some buying tomorrow. And if you do, why don't you join those buyers? But then just have a stop, like have a tight stop a little bit below 250. I mean, you know, pretty close. Another thing that I, you know, I've seen this happen several times and you just need to be aware of it. You could see the stock gap down tomorrow. Okay, if it gaps down, don't assume that that is not a buying opportunity. A lot of times, you know, you'll see these stocks close down like this. There's a lot of people that actually do have regular jobs. 
and they're not looking at the market all day. I know to you and me that sounds really strange, but some people don't look at the market all day. They come home tonight and they say like, oh my gosh, Tesla's down 10%, I gotta sell. They put in market sell orders in the morning and that supply crushes the stock and it doesn't open uh, you know, at the same level, it opens lower. If that's the case, don't just buy it. But if the stock after it gaps starts moving up, then definitely buy it, definitely buy it. You, the idea is you wanna be buying as low as you can but and then have a stop as high as you can put it so you're actually risking the least amount of money. So anyway, I hope that made sense. Um, if it didn't, sorry about that. And if it did, you know, I think Tesla is a buying opportunity here as long as 250 holds. Got to put that in there. As long as 250 holds, then I think this is your Huckleberry right here.